Thank you for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. It looks like this will be kind of an extra long hurricane season. We expected that. I don't mean that uh, in any alarming way, but it just means we're going to have more areas to watch at least over the next few weeks. I want to show you why it's going to be that prolonged hurricane season. In the short term, one of the things we're watching, what's near the British and U.S. Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, down near the ABC Islands, lots of rain that's been rolling through parts of the eastern and northern uh, Caribbean. Now, it's kind of a broken area. St. Thomas, for example, we haven't had a ton of rain. We've had a little bit more in St. Croix. We're going to see the rain building today in Puerto Rico. So not all of us are going to see some of the same totals, but very active weather. Then all of this moisture is going to move into the Western Caribbean later this week and development is a possibility late week and by the upcoming weekend. So I want to show you that we're going to go way out in time in this video. This here in the Gulf of Mexico, right? Looks totally different from a couple days ago. That is Rafael that is falling apart and it is doing that loop. I think I did a video Video on that about three days ago where it would kind of go to the north kind of spin around and then die back down to the south that's exactly what's happening with this a lot of weakening in this so again that thing is almost completely falling apart so let's shift our attention to what could develop in the central and western caribbean closer to central america by the weekend uh, late weekend to the weekend and even into next week now the American model has this area eventually becoming a hurricane. But remember, the American model is usually one of the more aggressive models long term, and it has almost everything becoming a hurricane. So we're going to take that with a grain of salt. Uh, but overall, it does kind of uh, at least find where things may develop. The European model, which I'm going to show you as well, uh, does have this area potentially developing into a tropical depression or maybe a tropical storm. So we've got a couple models that are saying, hey, there's going to be at least some development out of this. The Canadian not the icon models, right now don't have anything developing. But yesterday, the ICON model did have this area developing into a tropical storm. It's kind of back and forth just in the early stages of this, but development will be possible in parts of the uh, Western Caribbean later this week and by the weekend. So we have a lot to cover. I do want to get to this real quickly uh, first. These are some of the rain totals and we'll get into the uh, models. Puerto Rico back through the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. This is one of the areas that will get some of the heaviest rain today. But like I just mentioned, some spots may see that blue shading uh, may get 25 millimeters of rain or an inch of rain, while other spots where this almost black shading is showing up, we could get about six inches of rain for a three day total or 150 millimeters of rain. But it's a broken area. It's not when one big kind of a blob of rain. So with that, this area here may be a little bit more over here or kind of vice versa. It could be down here. So kind of a wait and see. But in this sector, I know we have those flood watches up and that's for good reason. Some spots we're going to see some really heavy rain in parts of the British U.S. Uh, Virgin Islands back through Puerto Rico, even stretching back for our friends in the Dominican Republic and then eventually into Haiti. So this pocket here. So let's go short term. And then long term, this is the American model. We're going to see the scattering of rain and storms. Grenada, a couple nights ago, we had some really heavier rain, scattered areas of rain through Trinidad and Tobago, St. Lucia, Barbados, still watching Costa Rica, Panama, even northern Colombia for some additional flooding and starting to get some spotty showers. Yucatan, Belize, uh, back toward uh, Yucatan uh, uh, Peninsula, Belize, back toward the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, and uh, Cuba. So scattering of rain in spots, but it's really this moisture here that's building. Look at this by tomorrow. So a lot of this shifts more toward Haiti. You can see this rain right in through here. Still that elevated rain chance, Trinidad and Tobago, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, St. Lucia, uh, Grenada, Barbados, even stretching up toward Dominica, Anguilla, Antigua, and Barbuda, uh, St. Kitts and Nevis. We're going to see the rain chance gradually drop as we get into the week ahead. Now this here is on Tuesday. We're going to start to go long term now. So on Tuesday, this moisture starts to shift toward the Western Caribbean. And we know that has been a hot spot for development this hurricane season. So let's go out in time here, just kind of ticking ahead Wednesday, Thursday, getting deep into the upcoming week, and then I want to stop the clock. This here is on Friday, and you see on Friday, here's Belize, Honduras right here, Nicaragua, San Andres, Providencia, Jamaica, Cayman Islands. We're going to see a lot of rain building in here. So that has my attention. Almost all of the models are seeing this. They're saying, hey, a ton of rain is going to build in the Western Caribbean later this week. Now, then it will be how much does it develop? What may develop? Now, this one, this is the American model, so it's a little more aggressive. What it does show uh, as we get into the uh, upcoming weekend and then into the following week, so this is out in time, so we know this is going to change 
weather forecasting is difficult four days out, yet alone seven to eight days out. But it is showing here, just to give you a sample, the American model is showing right here, a uh, tropical storm and then eventually a hurricane developing. Is this gonna happen? Uh, none of the other models are seeing this becoming a hurricane at this point, but clearly a spot to watch. The other models are saying this area is gonna be a little bit uh, weaker, but this just gives you a sample of why I wanna show you everything we're seeing, the American model is seeing. But on the flip side, I wanna show you the uh, European model in just a second but I did mention that this uh, November and the hurricane season as a whole is, is kind of lasting a little bit longer. So we have that extra long hurricane season. Well, why? Here's why. You can see these water temperatures. Look at much of the Atlantic, the Caribbean, into the Gulf. The red, the orange shadings, the yellows, those are above average temperatures. So the water temperatures right now are acting more like we would have in October. That's why we've already had a couple name systems and we could get a new name system uh, this month. So this month, very active, acting more like October. See that little blue spot in there though? Water temperatures have dropped off a bit where Raphael has been. So we'll see a little bit of a drop uh, in the uh, central sections of the Gulf of Mexico. So here are those water temperatures. And this, this will be the concern for some further development. Gulf temperatures are dropping, but still generally above average. And then we swing back toward the Caribbean. I showed you all that rain that's gonna be sliding back toward the Western Caribbean. Well, those water temperatures near Jamaica, for example, 30 degrees Celsius, 86 degrees Fahrenheit, more of what we'd have in October. And that's why we're gonna have that extra long uh, season. Not to say we're gonna have a million more named storms, but that's why this month has been so active. I like to not just tell you what the weather is gonna be, but kind of the why is behind it. So you got a good heads up on everything that's going on. All right, here's the European model, and it shows a lot of rain like the American model, but not as much development. High pressure and control. So once again, we have a lot of uh, rain working its way for us through the Caribbean, watching over toward Colombia, uh, over back toward uh, parts of Panama, Costa Rica. And this here, right here in the Gulf of Mexico, here's Louisiana, here's Texas. This is Rafael, which did its little spin or is kind of doing that today. And then will eventually continue to fall apart. That thing is really falling apart. So let's go out in time here, kind of zooming out in time into the week ahead with the European model. This here is on Wednesday. So you could see here on Wednesday, like the American model, a lot of that rain starts to shift across. You see it shifting into the central, and Western Caribbean. Jamaica, for example, we're going to have a better chance of rain as we get into midweek. So I'll be fine tuning that as we go forward, even parts of Haiti over toward Cuba and the Cayman Islands. Then let's go out in time a little bit further. This here is by the time we get toward a Thursday of the upcoming week. And you start to see that rain building uh, right in through here, just this little spot in here. So just like the American model was showing. So I have high confidence that this is going to happen. We're going to see a lot of rain sliding to the Western Caribbean. Now we get a little front here, kind of pulling in some of the moisture from what was left over with Raphael. That may try to uh, do some kind of a, a little subtropical development. I'll watch that north of the Bahamas, southeast U.S. by the time we get into the end of the week. So that may be catching your eye. I'm watching that as well. Not really tropical in uh, nature, uh, but you could see here, right here by Friday, the European model is trying to show a little something spinning up. Now, here's the setup though. As this area, this next front kind of pushes by up here, high pressure builds in behind it. That's the blocker. So that would keep whatever this is to the south. So if this area does develop, it is more likely to just continue to swing toward the Yucatan Peninsula over toward uh, Belize, Honduras, and Nicaragua. I'm not seeing anything now saying that if this develops, it's going to shoot to the north. I'll watch out for that, but I'm not seeing that. More likely, everything is showing kind of a drift back toward the west. So we'll watch those trends together as we go throughout the week. Here is Raphael doing that little spin today, that loop, and then it is just going to continue to fall apart. All of the models doing that. Some of the models saying, hey, some of this moisture will kind of lift up to the north, but you can see that little loop it's going to do as we go throughout the day. Sometimes these systems do kind of do those uh, big loops. Usually once a year or once every couple of years, you see a storm doing that. All of the models though show that uh, weakening trend that we're going to continue to see out of that. So Raphael falling apart. The next name on the list is Sarah. So if that area in the Western Caribbean later this week does develop, next name on the list is Sarah, Tony, Valerie and William to round out the, uh, the uh, year. And of course, this has been an above average season, not only for name storms, uh, but just such a high impact season with so many hitting land. Now going on time here, this is tomorrow. You can see again across the Gulf of Mexico, the higher seas, meters here, feet here to keep everyone covered. Atlantic waters this time of year, very choppy, uh, very rough with those fronts moving by. Let's get deeper into the upcoming week and we watch the Caribbean because all this rain is going to shift off toward the Western Caribbean. So you see a 
eventually, just to give you an early heads up, Thursday, Friday in the uh, Western Caribbean and then into the upcoming weekend, we're going to start to see those seas building and then we'll see if something does develop. Now to the north, I mentioned high pressure and control where Bermuda is. That's been keeping this moisture kind of pinned down in the Caribbean, but we do have a big front that's rolling by. So this front is kind of scooting by. This is the one that kind of started to grab Raphael uh, and then it's going to push by and then kind of it'll do its loop. But this front's going to move in. So we're going to see a better chance of some rain and then snow Atlantic region of Canada. This is by uh, about midday tomorrow afternoon, seeing some of that rain working through New Brunswick, Newfoundland, and then on the backside may catch some snow. And then on the backside of all of this, the tail end of this, this here is by Tuesday, still some active weather, colder weather moving in. And then that higher chance of rain as we get into Tuesday for our friends across Bermuda with that front that will be moving by. We got a couple blobs out here, Eastern Pacific side, but not showing any signs of development. Now the rain, that's gonna be the concern. Bahamas, back through Cuba, not a ton the next few days. Jamaica, we're watching some of the heaviest rain just off toward the uh, east. Same thing for the Cayman Islands, but parts of Haiti, then especially the Dominican Republic, and I was highlighting Puerto Rico and the British and U.S. Virgin Islands earlier where we could have some totals. Look at the Dominican Republic. Again, some of that black shading showing up. Some of us could get 150 millimeters of rain or six inches of rain over the next few days. Not as much over towards St. Martin, St. Bart's. But then you see that other surge of moisture. So heads up Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, right up through uh, Dominica. We could see a few pockets of flooding here. Grenada, we may get a couple more thunderstorms around. St. Lucia, same thing. St. Vincent of the Grenadines and Barbados. It's it's going to stay active not only across uh, the northern Caribbean but back into the southeastern Caribbean and that also means northern Guyana stretching back toward northern sections of uh, Venezuela that higher chance of rain Costa Rica Panama hopefully some of this heavier rain these colors are almost off my chart uh, stay away but we're still going to see that mudslide risk and very high totals at times Belize we could get a couple scattered showers in Guatemala even El Salvador where we could get some totals of 25 millimeters of rain or an inch of rain even scattered about back through Merida, Cancun, Campeche, over toward Cozumel, Mexico City, north through Texas. We're mainly dry. So scattered showers, but as we go throughout the week in Jamaica, it's going to be picking up some on Wednesday, Wednesday into Thursday, as all of that moisture starts to work across the Caribbean. So eventually later in the upcoming week, we'll see that rain chance getting higher across the Cayman Islands, 50 to 60 to 70% chance as it builds the next few days, Trinidad and Tobago. And that's why I mentioned isolated flooding possible watching us across Trinidad and Tobago. It's not going to be all day rain, but thank you for getting the word out that as we get into the upcoming week, we're going to have more of an active pattern in Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados. Same thing, at least the next couple of days. The next couple of days, Barbados and St. Lucia, a 50 to 60% chance of scattered areas of rain and storms dropping off some by Tuesday. 50 to 60% chance right across Grenada, what I was just showing you a couple minutes ago, where we could see some more action. And we do that again, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the next three days, scattered areas of some rain and storms. Martinique, 60% chance today, a 70% chance today. In in Dominica, we're going to see some areas of rain at least nearby. Even if we don't necessarily get rain, it's not a 100% chance. We're going to know there's some action nearby. Same thing as we get toward Guadeloupe. And then you see the rain chance still unsettled for us in Antigua, Barbuda, but we're going to see that rain chance going down as we get deeper into the week. You see that same thing, St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat by Tuesday, that rain chance down to 30%. In and St. Bart's, 50 to 60% chance. The next couple of days, 50 to 60% chance. The next couple of days, St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia down to about a 30% chance on Tuesday. In Puerto Rico, the highest chance of rain is going to be over the next couple days. We'll watch out for some of that flooding together. We do that again in parts of the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Rain chance 40 to 50% in the Bahamas favoring Southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos. Rain chance will pick up tomorrow and Tuesday, up to a 50% chance in the Dominican Republic. Some of that rain working in. We're going to watch out for some pockets of flooding and watching out for some of the downpours and that rain chance will bump up tomorrow and Tuesday. Right across Haiti, we're looking at a 50% chance. Isolated uh, showers and storms, so this is a bump up. So we're going to see a few showers and storms around in uh, Belize. 30 to 40% chance in Aruba. You see with all this action in the Caribbean, our rain chance is higher across the ABC Islands. Uh, Curacao over toward Bonaire, we're up to at least a 40% chance for tomorrow. Northern Guyana, better chance of rain. Even northern Suriname, a uh, chance of uh, some of those uh, showers that will be nearby. Rain chance about 30 to 40% right across Cuba. Cuba, and there's that high chance of rain again, Costa Rica and Panama watching out for that uh, flooding. Nicaragua.
Nicaragua, 40 to 50% chance. The next couple of days, a 30 to 40% chance. Roatan, as we work our way back into Honduras, Guatemala and El Salvador, 50% chance of rain. Mexico City, we are dry and we are on the hot side. 40% chance of some scattered showers across the Yucatan Peninsula right into the uh, upcoming week. About a 50% chance in northern Colombia. Still watching out for some pockets of flooding. Northern Venezuela, 40% chance of rain. And then you see by Tuesday, with that front moving in in Bermuda, the rain chance is going to get higher. Just showed you that uh, with the uh, computer model. So that rain surge continues. That moisture building in the Caribbean. Watching out for those areas of flooding and the mudslide threat. And then I'll be uh, fine-tuning if we do get development later this week. In the meantime, on the flip side, Rafael continues to fall apart in the Gulf of Mexico. So kind of a prolonged hurricane season. We kind of saw this coming. It is still active out there. I'll be watching out for the future development with you as we go throughout the week ahead. Be safe. Have a good rest of your day.